Okay. The, the story is this, you know, I was talking to him, he came by, he started talking. The main topic was, he said that, I asked him about the moon, right? Because you have moon on top of the mosque, right? Yeah. He said, so, we follow the god of the moon. That's what I said. Hubal, Hubal. Hubal. Because in, the, in, your, in your resources, you will see that Hubal was called the, uh, the god of uh, Kaaba, right? He was Hubal, which was the crescent moon god. So he said, no, no, but we fought uh, uh, the, uh, the, we, the Kufar, we fought them and this and that. I said, fine, you did that. You, they killed him. Remember, they killed the Hubala. I know that. But then why did they take that symbol and put it on top of the mosque? Because that symbol is not just any symbol. It's not like you can take a Nazi symbol, you know, the, 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 the uh, what do you call that? Um, swastika. swastika. And just start using that and say, it's just a symbol. What if it's a swastika? You, can you do that? Can you make swastika the symbol of Islam? Okay, it's a, it, so, so symbols have meaning and symbol represents something. So that crescent moon represents Hubal, the moon god from the beginning, like thousands of years. It's mentioned in the Bible, Hubal. It's called Baal also. It's like, it's like the new age because we follow the new lunar calendar. No, no, no. Everybody follow. He was telling me that too. Everybody, the, the, the Catholics, Hindus, all these, everybody follows the lunar calendar because that's the, uh, really, uh, that's a religious calendar. It's so, it's so it's nothing to do with Muslims only came around. Nobody was following them. I don't know about this. I, I know you don't know I don't, about I don't, it. I don't, I don't want to talk about things that I don't know. Okay, you don't want to talk about things. But the thing is, this is about, no, okay, fine. But the thing is this, it's your faith. So all you have to say is, I have to go back and find out because I've been coming here for like almost a year now. I first, my debate was with Mansoor. The first debate I asked him about the moon god. Everybody knows me here. Nobody has come back to me and said, you know who moon god is or you know what the, uh, the, and I've been asking the same question. Why do you have the uh, crescent moon? I don't ask a different question. Any Muslim can come back next week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months from now, come back and say, this is what it is. I've been coming here for months. None of the Muslim imams, you know who Mansoor is? Okay. You think he has knowledge? Somewhat, yeah. Okay, so he's pretty smart, right? Okay, ask him, when you see him, ask him, why do we have the crescent moon? Because you said I'm not very educated in that. So go, ahead, go to anybody. There are Imams right now here. Go to any one of them and ask them this question. And then come back to me and say, okay, here's the answer. Okay, that's all you have to do. You can do the same thing. There are several Imams here right now. You can go ask anyone, please explain to me what is what is this crescent moon and why is it on Kaaba, the Masjid al Haram, right? The Grand Mosque, it has the crescent moon on it. It's in Kaaba, it's in Soma of Kaaba. No, no, it's a Grand Mosque in Kaaba, right? The Masjid al Haram, right? Masjid al Haram. No, no, uh, what is it called? The Masjid that's in uh, Kaaba? Bait al Haram. Bait al Haram. Okay, sorry, I said Masjid al Haram. Bait al Haram. It has. But yeah, so that has a crescent moon on it, right? It's not okay, on no. it, it's on one of the Samaat. You know Samaat? What, what is Samaat? The, the minaret. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, is the minaret on top of the mosque? Yeah. So, is, does that mean the moon is on top of the mosque? Come on, bro, don't stop playing word games. The minaret is on top of the mosque. Yeah, yeah, the the crescent moon is on top of the minaret. So if I say the crescent moon is on top of the mosque, am I making this up? No, no, no. It's okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, so please don't play that game because I'm not here to play game. I'm asking you a serious question because if what I am saying is true, that makes, that brings a very big question mark okay, where did, on Islam. We have to, we have to ask ourselves, where did, where did that idea... Are you Muslim, my friend? Are you Muslim? Can I ask you a quick question? Okay, my friend here, they're Muslim, but they're, they're kind of struggling with this question. And I hope you can answer. Who knows? Okay. Do you know there is a crescent moon on top of the mosque, right? Yes, yeah, not all mosques, but... Uh, oh, well, most, well, at least the one in Kaaba, right? The Grand Mosque in Kaaba has the crescent moon, right? So, the question is... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Betul Haram. It has the... On top of the minaret. There's the, the moon crescent. Yeah. yeah, so it's on all the mosques. So, I mean, most of them, 90% of the mosques have it. So it's not something that's very obscure, right? It's like you go around uh, in, in London, you'll see the mosque with the crescent moon. The question is, what is that? 
What is the crescent moon there? What is it? There's a little explanation for it because uh, sometimes the hilal they put it to identify where the qibla is. But the qibla is inside the. Okay, when you go in the mosque, where do you face when you? The Kibla, right? Yeah, yeah, Kibla. So that's inside, not outside. You're not praying outside, my friend. You're praying inside. Okay, we have to we have to identify when 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 this idea of the moon exactly came, yeah. came So after, do you know it, anything it, it about because my theory is you, are you new Muslim? Look at Google now, it says that relatively, relatively new. Okay. Were you what were you before Islam? The first one who made it. Well, I was once uh, born into a Christian family. Because he, once you were born into a how long ago was that? Just to identify with the Qibla is. 44 years. Oh, okay. Were you born in this country? No. Which country were you born in? Huh? Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay. So, the, question, the thing is, because you you must have thought that Islam is true and Christianity is false, right? So why would you change, uh, accept Islam then? Well, it has a lot of because reasons and a, a lot of history. For me, like, uh, I might not be your most uh, average traditional uh, Muslim anyway, but uh, like, a lot know, of I them are not. Into, into a Christian family. I had to go to church once in a while and all of that. But at the same time, like, I, I saw a life around me and in my family was not really living a lot of the values. So I learned to associate a little bit like church with the same. Have you so lived in a Muslim country? Have you, have you, okay, uh, uh, hypocrisy. You use the word hypocrisy. Have you been to any of the Muslim countries? Sure. Which country? I don't know, uh, Turkey and, uh, and? for instance, uh, let me think, uh, Pakistan. Pakistan, yeah, that's an interesting world. country. So tell me, did you find any hypocrisy in that society? Sure. Okay. So how is that, that you can say okay to that hypocrisy, but you're saying uh, no to the hypocrisy in the West? Well, that, uh, like Islam has more hypocrisy than anything in the world. No, like you, you are now changing. Uh, uh, no, like you're putting stuff in my history. No, no, that, I, that you I'm not. I'm not asking you. Okay, so, I'm asking for. So uh, explain, please. Like I told you that I I felt this way from my own personal experience living it, right? So after that, I like I retained the belief in in God and in spiritual things, but not as much in religion as such. And later on, I came, like upon my path came Islam, and I saw it as like something that came to me from God. So I like, decided to have an open mind for it, and I went to the, uh, like that. But, you, but did you research uh, Islam or uh, Christian? Course, but uh, see, the issue is like if you want to argue with me. No, that, I just that, want uh, to know. No, no, but if you want to argue with me that okay, in a Muslim country, Muslim societies, or what, there is a lot of hypocrisy. I will not argue with you. There is a lot of it. In fact, like I think Islam is absolutely amazing. Muslims, like a Muslim society, has a lot to improve. Uh, that's a very weak excuse for not Islam because Islam, no. if Islam was so great, their societies would be great. Yeah, Do you understand? The problem, the problem is you saying, oh, no, no, no. and then when I ask Muslims, no, 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 whenever no. there was a great Islamic society, there was never an Islam. Do, I ask was. Muslims here. In this world right now, is there one Islamic country? Well, that's a, another question. Actually, an interesting question. But uh, is there one Islamic there country is, uh, in this world right now? I would say, I would say yes. Which uh, one? I would say Saudi. E e Saudi. Even those countries. You know that they, there was some research done into <laughs> this, like uh, looking into the the Quran and so on. Like, what kind of values do the Islamic country, like Islam, have, and which countries follow that? And uh, according from that research, I would have to look it up for you, I didn't see. But it was really funny and surprising uh, because it had like uh, New Zealand as the most Islamic country and uh, some other places. So it was very, uh, very nice. As I said, well, that's why Muslims are in the West, no, no. because they're more Islamic in the West than they are in the, uh, in the Islamic countries in the Middle East. Oh, there might be. But, uh, like I'm not exactly no. sure. So you're saying you're that Islam? We're not living in, a, in heaven. Because what because the Western, Western countries are based on the morals of Christianity. No, no, no. Uh, I, I, Western I, I, society, I, 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 Western society is based. 
Western you, society is based, is based on, on Christianity. No, this country is based on it's based on, it's, its morals are based on Christianity. So LGBT is based on Christianity. No, no, no. I said its morals. It was established on Christianity. This is not something that was built. Is is is, is, is uh, United Kingdom built on LGBT? I didn't say that. It's, it's enforcing these morals on the people. So that no, no, no. I said these countries that you that the Muslims are attracted to are based on are based on it. Okay? Yeah, what is their laws based on? On Christianity. Yeah, what, 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 so he's saying that when they did the survey, they found Netherlands and these countries where it's more Islamic than in Islamic countries. So what I'm saying is that the Christian morality is more in tune with the Christ, uh, with what you because Islam is nothing but. Then again, you make a mistake. Okay, yeah? well, let me let me find out what you mean then. Because then again, you you, you conflate the idea is that okay, if we have something based on certain morals, then that equates to that that being there. Well, society, Christianity made the West, right? I mean, the whole, the language, the culture, everything in everything that you talk about. Like right now, your today is what Saint George's Day. Who was Saint George? This is all Christian. Everything has to do with Christianity. Everything in this society is built on Christianity. Those morals. Huh? Are they still on those morals? Are they, are, still, uh, are they still following those morals? Okay. But what they are following, what their laws are still yeah. based on them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, but, okay. We, their laws as are still Muslims, based on we it. believe in Christianity as like we believe. No, you don't believe in Christianity. We believe the no, I didn't. I don't want to be the, yeah, no, 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 it's okay. Just leave it. We believe in Jesus as a, like, a messenger of God. Yeah, but that, that okay, so, so that denigrates Jesus. You're denigrating, you're insulting Jesus because he's God. No, that's a denigration of God. He's God. No, no, no. What you believe, okay, so your Quran is denigrating uh, uh, Jesus. So it's a denigration. It's a denigration of Jesus. If I say Muhammad is not a prophet, uh, you know, if the Bible said that Muhammad is not a prophet, you, you, you were referring to the morals in the West that they're great. And they're great. No, because he just said that. He made that point. I asked him, okay, lady, 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 just a moment. All these morals are from the same root, from God, right? From Christianity. From God. Why is Christianity? It's based on the no, no, there are gods in, okay. There are gods in Hinduism. These the laws of this country are not based on the go, uh, Hindu gods. Okay, this is based on Christianity. What is Christianity? Christianity okay. is a religion. What do you mean? Right? No, no, no. It's based on Bible. Bible. Bible doesn't Bible? have a law. Who Just said law. the Bible? Hold on. So are you Who praying to Bible? Bible or are you praying to Jesus or Who to whom are you praying when you're saying Christianity? Who sent the Bible? Like if you like, what is the Bible? It's a book. It's a holy book. Why is it holy? Books. Why is it holy? Okay, what is your point, ma'am? I'm, I'm not yeah, following you right now. The morals of Christianity. Okay, so uh, let me ask you something. Okay, if you're saying that, which which morals is the society of the West based on? Okay, okay, I understand. You're uh, let me ask the question. Can I get the? What is it? God sent morals. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, please answer. I'm asking you a simple question, so give me a simple. Giving you a simple answer. Okay, so I'm asking you, which morals is the Western society based on? Okay, God sent morals. Devil, devil, devil moral. LBGT. LBGT. Talk about this. LBGT. Let me talk to gay marriages. Why do you have gay uh, pastors? You have it. Why do you have gay we imams? You have gay imams right now. Yes, you do. You have female imams. You have gay imams. There are gays in your mosque right now. You are doing the same. No, no, no. Okay, that's that, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you, don't go there because you guys are doing the same thing. No, we're not doing the same thing. Talk to me. I had this debate the other day. Listen, I can show you. Female imams. You know, the, you know what the point okay? is? Okay, I can yes. show you gays and, in the mosque. And we condemn them. Let's all be that. We condemn, we condemn them too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We condemn them too? Okay, okay. I, so, I don't condemn any of them. We're not even talking about that right now. He doesn't condemn them. We're not talking about that right now. We're not talking about that right now. What are we talking about? Why should I condemn them? You're saying there is a country is based on Christian. I'm going to tell them. I understand that. And I'm not saying that's not true. I'm not saying that's not true. What are the morals that that's based on? Yeah. Okay. So for us, what, what are those morals? You're saying it's based on Christianity. It's based on Christianity. But, uh, but what is that? Like, based on Christianity, like, you know, for, uh, forgiveness and all this stuff that's in the Bible. That's what the morals and those laws are based on. On the on the Ten Commandments, do not kill this and that. All of that stuff is based on the Western society, is based on the biblical morals. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm, when I asked him, look, uh, I don't know, we're getting sidetracked, man. This is a red herring. I don't want to waste my time. How does that differ from the Islamic morals? 
Islam, like even the story of Luke. Okay, what are you talking about? In Islam, yeah. do, does it? Okay, in Islam, how many uh, 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 women can you marry? The real issue marry up to four. Up to four. In Christianity, how many women can you marry? It says one. Oh, is it? So how many women did Abraham really make that much sense? Like if it was he a Christian? He followed the commandments of God. That's right. So how many women did he have? Two. Two wives. Was the Hajar his wife? Uh, yeah, my friend, he, he, okay, Hajar hold on. My friend, exactly was Hajar the, the wife of uh, Ibrahim? Did he marry her? Oh, in the Bible, she was not married. And I also there we go. Islam, she, she was not married. She was not married. Thank you. I, I believe that they were married. Where? Okay, show me. Okay, you said it. Now show me where, where it says he, she was okay, married. Okay, when when uh, Sarah... How is it coming? He's married to Hajar and also married to Sarah. He was married to Sarah. No, no, don't show me that. Show me Hajar was his wife. Just you gotta show me Hajar was his wife. Can you step out of the camera, please? My friend, can you, my friend, my friend, my friend, you're blocking the camera. Can you just step out of oh, that way? Sarah accept that Mr. Ibrahim to marry his servant? Move it over here, brother. Buddy, move the camera here. I, I, I understand that, buddy. One more. One more, one more. The one that's good. Let's say, why? I don't know how. To, to, to Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, because they had to. But offer. They have no off, children. Offer for what? They offered for just sex? No, just for child. You have a child. Yeah, so just sex they offer. Child. Not for companionship at all. No. I don't know. Right. Because they had no child. Sarah and yeah, but then eventually so the best way. All right, my friend. Here's the. But we were talking about the laws of West. I said they're based on Christianity. He said, oh, "How is that? Why is that not Islamic?" I said, "Islam has four marriages. Here, you cannot have four women." That's based on okay, Christianity. That's one example okay, okay, okay. of why that's, this that's is. That's an example. You can't have you can't have more than one wife, but can you have loads of mistresses? What are you talking about? Can you, can you be married to one? Is woman that a law? No, exactly. It's not. Is a that law. a law? It's not a law. Okay, that's what I'm saying. but is that right? Can you, can you have one wife? Okay, so what you're saying? Look, look, look. Would, would is there a law that says you can have mistresses? Would you get penalized for mistresses? What? Would you get Would you get arrested for having mistresses? What do you mean you you, you get arrested for having? How would yeah, you know I'm it's a mistress? About, I'm, I'm talking about your morals. Would you get arrested for having one wife but having an affair? Having an affair? Yeah. Okay, that in, in the God's would, law. Would you Would you get? Listen, my friend. Okay. There are the. Okay. Can you marry? Okay, the law here is about marriage. Yeah. Okay. The law here is for one woman and one man to marry. And what Muslims, is the law in Christianity about having an affair outside of marriage? That's called adultery. And what is the ruling on that? What's the punishment for that? A punishment is, you know, that that's up to God, you know. No, we don't have, we don't. In scripture, in scripture that, what does it say? No, no, no. no, no, no. no are no, you talking about New Testament or are you talking about Old Testament? New Testament and Old Testament. Old Testament. So, in the Old Testament, you can you you'll be killed right for adultery okay and in the new testament it's not stated it's not stated no so what did jesus come to do did he come to fulfill the law or abolish it? he said to fulfill the law so is he not if he if it is not unambiguously stated that you cannot there's no specific punishment for it so what is he doing if he never he negated said that before, law, what is he doing he He's said fulfilling it no he said let me let me tell you what jesus said Go he on. said i came to fulfill the law in the old days, you were allowed to uh, divorce because of the hardness of your heart. God allowed you to divorce. I say now that those... Why did he say, I say now? Because he's saying that I am God. I'm making a new law because I have the authority to make it. Nobody can say, I say this because he's saying, I say it to you. Who gave him the authority for that? Because he's God. He showed that he's God. He claimed that he's God. Okay. He claimed. He claimed he's God. Can he refuse a law from his father? Which he can do anything. He's he, he's not lower than the father. He's equal to the father. Okay. Can he kill father? Huh? Can he kill the father? Kill? Yeah. I don't know what you mean by that. Right? Why would you want to kill the father? It doesn't make any sense. Because he's saying when they are. He's not. He's not. I said they're equal. It's not like he has to. He can. He can make laws on his own. He has the authority. Is what is he's been given authority by over who, everything. By who? Be, he is God. He has the authority. He has the authority. Yeah. So, uh, what about God, Father? God Does he have the same authority as Jesus? Yeah, but he says. If they're, they're, okay, in your mind, they're two different. In my mind, they're the same. So, if, if God has the authority, Jesus has the authority, they're the same. It's the same. He's, yeah. He's saying, because God is one. In Christianity, there's only one God. Who is that? That is wrong. He, he, who he is, is three, and what he is, is one. No, no, no. You're confused, I know. What God is, he's a. 
one being, one being, one essence, one mind. Okay, one essence, one mind, but three persons. Okay, he's not like you and me. That you and I are one essence and one being and one person. But God is not like us. Okay, so don't make God like us because we are one person and one being. That means that God has to be like that. No, God is infinite. He doesn't have to be like us. And in the Quran, it says that too. He's not like us. So you're, what you're doing is you're bringing God down to our level and saying because I am like this, then God has to be like this. I'm not saying like that because it sounds like that. As a Muslim and as a human, you are know what God is and what He's capable of doing. Exactly. So how do you know that He's not a Trinity? You just made the point. You said you don't. You cannot imagine. So how do you know He's not a Trinity then? Where does the Bible say there's three gods? Hey, this is the question. Wait, does it say so? No. Then why do you believe that God is three? Look, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. The Bible does not say there's three. The Bible says there's only one God. But he's three persons. That's where you get the Trinity. Because God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. These are all three are one. How do you know? Okay? Because Jesus said, the God, uh, Father is in me and I am in him. What does that mean? In the Bible, Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. What does that mean? While they were they were together, while they were preaching. That's what I mean. So you don't know that and that is what is called a hypostatic union. That means that Jesus is a fully human. Huh? And he's fully God say, at the same you time. Can have so, more than but he didn't. He left his prerogative up in heaven no, as a no, God's I'm prerogative, because he could no, come I'm on the earth you. and just like you, destroy you, all his enemies, like when they were arresting him. Why? You uh, can have only one body. So you're basically oh, so saying now that God only you can became the Holy Spirit body. and He but showed up to Mary. Before you were saying Mary, God have more, but now you're saying he, only he you have one. No, he God sent Jibrael no. to, Jibrael no, 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 to I, Mary, to Maria. No, 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 who is the Holy Spirit? Who, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth. That Jesus said, I will send to you, after I leave, I will give you a helper, which is the Holy Spirit, which will bring to your memory everything that I've said and will give you the strength so, so that you can have more what is and now you're saying no, already know is, is, already more. know that stuff that he is you change your answer how is god going minutes. to give god That's why I know his word sorry I'm, I'm i'm not following you what, what, what is your question you said that your, uh, god is giving him the holy spirit to guide him and, and to who Jesus. Jesus is the same God. No. What do you mean yes. Jesus? Repeat what Abraham, you said. Okay. okay. If it I'm, I'm not sure which, which, where you got that. I didn't say that. What did you say? You said yeah. that? Bad I said, uh, yeah. what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy and Spirit Abraham is the Spirit Abraham, from God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That Jesus, that when he left, left when he was leaving, he said, I will, I will uh, send you a helper, which is the uh, Holy Spirit. Yeah. To help so you, to uh, you, to strengthen you, meaning that that Holy Spirit, which comes from Him, He is God, will bring you the truth to you. And that is why when He left, after that, when the when the disciples got the Holy Spirit on them, then they started preaching the uh, Jesus, and they were not afraid anymore because they had the Spirit of Truth in them. That's the Holy Spirit. Okay, that is what I, what the Holy Spirit means, and uh, and what the. Um, Jesus. Jesus is God and man. Okay. So Jesus, Jesus is God and man. And man. He created. Jesus created heaven and earth and everything. Wait. Yeah. Right. He's the Word of God, right? He's Kalam Allah, right? He's not a. Okay. Uh, did I say he's a man? You said man and God. Yeah, man and, and God. God. So, in the in the God. Okay. So why are you saying that he could, when he was on earth he was a man and God, right? He created. Earth, Did he create that uh, when before so when, the earth was formed? Right? He, he, he was a man. On he earth. was eternal. He go to the toilet, same as us. Yeah, yeah. He, because as a man, he did everything, right? God, go. <laughs> yeah. So what? He's confusing. Yeah. No, you're confusing. You're confused. You're confusing us. No, uh, you'll confuse yourself. How can I confuse you? A man and go should go to toilet. Why not? If he becomes a man, is he gonna be not go to toilet or not eat? He's good. He doesn't have to eat. Okay, but he's a man. 
That's why he says if he if he became a man, is he gonna eat? That God didn't want Abraham. Then he's not. Is he gonna, gonna eat? Anymore. He's more to the at, at that point. He didn't. What? When you say that he when he said that he needs to go to the toilet, he needs to. He's a man, right? He's a he man. became a man, right? He became mortal. You mean? Yeah. So that's why he died on the cross. So God died. Yes. God died. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. When you die, yeah. does your spirit die? Which spirit is different? You're not answering okay. the question. Listen, I'm answering the question. Did you hear my answer? When you die, does your spirit die? No. No. Okay. So God's spirit, you said when he died on the cross, his spirit died with him? He was a man. Okay, let's say he was a man. He has a spirit, right? At least, okay. at least admit he was a man. I said before, I said he's fully man, fully God. Yeah, that's what I said. Listen, but when he died, listen, my friend, his spirit didn't die. The God is a spirit. He didn't die. That's it. That's your answer. So how is how is it that God died? You're confused, my friend. Just because you cannot. God have a spirit, same as us. Same as us. Yeah. Is he same as us? Is he one of his creation? Huh? He created so many creations. Which other creation? We know the only one. Oh, so who is the other creation? Jin. Jin. Did did, did did God create Jin? Did God God create Jin? Where are they? Do you believe in Jin? Okay, where are they? What? I believe that we are not able, uh, we're not able to see them. Okay, but okay, okay, do you have any proof of uh, jinn? Can you show me any proof of jinn? You're talking about spirit. Why is spirit? No, it's jinn, right? You believe that Allah created jinn? Yeah. yeah, I believe in jinn. Okay, jinn, right. So show me uh, any anywhere where there has been a jinn, right? Can you show me any proof of jinn? Uh, it's, a, it's a creation. What's your criteria for evidence? What? What's your criteria for evidence? I'm not saying if it's preferred. What's your criteria for evidence? Well, what, whatever is your criteria. What is your criteria? I'm asking you. What, what, what can you show me? What can, what can you show me? He said Jesus was a man and God. And I asked him, did Jesus create? Okay, did, do jinns exist? Show me the existence of jinns. Show me the existence of Okay, then show me the existence of jinns. Okay, what's the purpose of jinns? Okay, let me ask you this. What's the purpose of jinns? Wait, wait, wait. Same purpose as human beings. Wait, wait, don't let that How can you prove it? How can you prove what? Okay, well, uh, I could just say uh, God created. Uh, Criteria, fairies. You know English, okay. right? What's the criteria? What are the criteria? Yeah, for, 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 for any any criteria you want. Any criteria. You any cri you, you, you show me your criteria. You say this is my criteria. I don't know what the criteria because there is no such thing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, listen, I can answer that question. Can, can you answer my question? Oh no, no, there's like three of you, man. I'm asking him. Listen, there is no such thing as gin. There cannot be a criteria for gin. Okay, you can only give your criteria because it doesn't exist. Why you asking for evidence? So you're you're claiming it to be exist because you're you're claiming your Quran is claiming your Quran is claiming that there are gins. Okay, your Quran is claiming that there are gins, isn't it? The Quran. The Quran is claiming there are jinns. Okay? I'm saying there are no jinns. So now you tell me why you think there are jinns. You have the answer. What is spirit? What is spirit? If you make a claim, then you should back it up. If I make a claim, I'll back it up. Okay. Guys, are you gonna are you gonna film this guys? Okay, can you hey no no let me let me let me let me okay move over move over move over right. take it over there take it over there but my friend take it over there I got the no no you're in my you're you're in my I'm doing a video here can you step look, look, over there? How many times you step in the brothers are debating? You come in there, they're running away from you. No, I'm you not know, talking. Why the yeah. Muslims marry more than one wife? This no, is Muslims. Is it, no, no, this is, is him. Away. That's why I don't want to debate no, him. No no, 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 no. I'm talking to I'm somebody. Give you the taste of your own medicine. Listen. You need to get what over there. No, no, You're I'm, discussing I'm, 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 I'm with Asif. I'm, I'm Go with I, I, Asif. I, 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 Do your own debate with away. Asif. Are you doing debate the with Asif? Of your own Are you de doing de debate no, with Asif? Well. Go with no, Asif. No, no, no. Go talk to the Asif. Evidence is there. I was talking to your brothers here. I know, I know. This okay. Evidence. He doesn't respect you. The Muslim doesn't respect other Muslims. So now, 
This we're gonna, set, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this because he's not. I'm gonna yeah, talk to this guy over here. We need to step away from Lamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But God, so it's God, not let's come God, over here. It's not let me read it. God, okay, let, let me read so, it. Let me read it. Can you want to hear it? No, no, no. Why no. no. You're scared. Because I want to finish my discussion. Okay, yeah, but you're scared. I'm gonna okay, 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 for 50, for 50. You're scared, now you're lying. No. The Bible says, come on, one wife. Are you? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you respect Muslims? Do you respect Muslims? The test of Israel. He doesn't respect Muslims. I'm talking to someone. I'm talking to someone. No, no, you don't wait. Do you respect others? He doesn't respect others. If you don't respect others, you can butt in. Do you respect the Muslims? Do you respect them? Don't play the game. Do you respect them? I know you're gay. Okay. So he doesn't respect anybody. He's running away. I'm talking to them. I see you running away. I'm talking to them. Bible says you can marry more than one wife. Okay. Why do you love my Islam? But it says that we didn't come out. You want to have a debate? The Bible said. In the book of Exodus, oh, so chapter I'm going to bless, verses number 10 to 11. Where does it say I'm going to bless that in scripture. Show me where it says so, that in scripture. What, show me where, what you just quoted, that whole little... Read, part. read uh, Genesis. No, no, no. Show read me exactly Genesis. what you just said in scripture. Right? Yeah, read Genesis. Genesis, where God is... Uh, Genesis what? Yeah. I'm going to search out right here. For, uh, for Hagar, Hagar as a wife of uh, Abraham. Hajra, Hajar, you mean? Yeah, Hajar. No, there's no wife of... Uh, uh, Hajar is not a wife. She is not a wife, but uh, she is a, a slave. She was a slave yeah. concubine. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Abraham took her as a wife. Yeah. Uh, well, no, he he slept with her. He didn't marry her. He didn't marry her. No. He didn't marry her. No, he didn't marry her. He didn't marry her. He didn't marry her. Chicken, he didn't marry her. You look out, bitch. Why are you running away from me? What? Why, 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 why? Come here. Come here. Can you, can you, can you marry more than wife? <laughs> you must like your note, man. No, man, it's just crazy. I had a debate with him. He lost that debate. Then he's after me. He tried to make up for it. Come over here. Why don't you ask him? About what? No, he's, he's just crazy. He's just, I've asked him about the moon god. He, I, you watch my last Why don't you answer his question? He's first. No, no, why does he not answer mine? I say he's first. I, no, I asked him before. Last week I asked him this question. I said, uh, I will have a discussion with you if you tell me what the moon god is. Why you have the moon on top? He doesn't want to answer it. I'm like, I'm not going to answer your question unless you answer mine. God wasn't happy with the That's asking. Alright, that's it.